Hi there, just doing uh, NSI class uh, this week and uh, it's very cold outside so we were inside and there was quite a bit of fellas on both sides of the gym here and range was getting to be a problem so I told them to bring out the single stick just for that reason. So what was happening was uh, no matter what the drill it was we were doing, whether it was a sombrato or a, uh, even just a single somali, so like one, two, three, four, guys were too close together, right? And so they're making contact, but their, their range is really poor. They're not utilizing the stick for what it's worth. So we kind of bring their attention to that. As well, we have to make sure if we are doing one, two, three, four, for instance, we're not just leaving our hands out there, right? We're actually learning to retract those because of course that is a target no matter which way it's coming. Very beginning stuff, but uh, all the more valid. Okay, so we're just looking off, let's say a number one or something coming in on this angle. Uh, obviously he's trying to hit me in the head. It would be very great for me as the instructor, as usual, to just say, hey, swing that stick forward, and then he stops, and I do all my stuff, and it works really well. Well, that's not how it works in real life. Of course, we need to learn it as a progression, because how are you supposed to get there in the end? So what we're doing is we're taking it from movement. Mr. Warden's very big on that. So even if it's simple, if you haven't done a lot of training, just to move from single somali or, or a one, two, three, four, we're, we're aiming at this point in time and space. After that four count, I learn I must move because he's actually coming to get me now. So let's do that four again. One, two, three, four. Yep. And then come and get me. Yeah, good. And I have to move in. Now, by in, I mean I don't want to get closer to these loaded tools. I mean I have to move slightly to an angle in order to find my opening. From that point, I keep at range. I don't want to be so close as to now I'm in range of his weapons. Why would I do that when I have a stick? Then, of course, I can drift away. I can then strip. Uh, I mean, I could have snaked on the way back out. I could then peel it to the inside or something like that. There's all a bunch of fun stuff. Of course, all the great stuff after the strip. Everybody looks very good afterward as well, but getting it properly without some chin music is what I'm worried about. So for instance, on that one, one, two, three, four, yeah. And then just come again, yep, good. So I'll hit him in the torso rib area, and as I start to drift that back now, I then put him in the way with a proper grab articulating there, so of course, it would be a very good strip for me empty-handed or to here. The point being though, he's not done attacking, and that's really the key here. He doesn't just do one and then I do five other movements. So off of that one, he now wants to punch me. Well, the reason I was, just retract one second here. I'm going for a strip here, placing that in the way. You notice I'm shifting back to place his arm in between him and I to give myself some distance. I'm going to hit him in the fingers here, but unfortunately he's already coming through. Well, that is why these things then Right? Worked so well because I was already set up for that movement, which then turned into a block. Or a, or a, yeah, a block. To do the exact same thing with empty hand, just kind of so I guess maybe we can see a little bit. If he was to punch me here, I'm looking at going check to 12 o'clock. As I'm doing check to 12 o'clock, he comes through with another punch. So now this 12 o'clock, or this hit to the eyes, 12 o'clock, turns into a block here. And then I either maybe hit him like that, pass, I can't remember what I did with the stick, something like that, it was that way, that's right, and then I was hitting him something of that nature, just to try and put it together the same. So once again, my positioning was proper, right? I was drifting back a little bit, oh, there, that came in, because I'm looking for something afterward, but he's already coming through. That's how that happens. Now maybe I'm moving in, right? You can see how now, where I'm set up, maybe even for single Somali again, or something like that, but by trapping him, I'm at a very good, uh, well, very good distance, uh, yet to use my tools. Same thing empty-handed. So, I guess that's it for today. Uh, if you don't mind clicking the NTS symbol there to subscribe to the channel, I'd appreciate it. And if you like what you see, please uh, go down below to the thumbs up and give it one of those as well. And I'll see you at the next bits of video. Of course, there are certain videos only for people who subscribe. So hopefully you are subscribing to get those. All right, thanks very much. We'll see you next time.